Today we're going to do a startup on the U.S. water infusion system. Um, we're using a much larger system in this home, so we have two carbon tanks opposed to one. Um, we're going to go through how we're going to set up the peroxide system initially, and we'll go through how we backwash the, the carbon tanks, and then we'll go through what we call the bubble test, where we'll actually show you how to dial in your peroxide to get to that perfect setting. Now, before we do any of this, it's a good idea to chlorinate your well. Um, we want to chlorinate the well and we want to put chlorine throughout the house. That way, in case there's any contaminants build up, such as iron bacteria or something like that, we're destroying that before we bring the clean water online. Because even though we have a treatment system now, if we don't kill everything in the plumbing system that's already there, it still has the opportunity to grow backwards towards the plumbing system and cause a problem. So, in order to get to a true ground zero, we always chlorinate the well coupled with installing the system. So once the well is chlorinated and we flushed it and then we bring the system online, that will keep that iron bacteria or other things from accumulating in the plumbing system and we shouldn't have to do that again. But um, just in a few minutes we're going to get started here. I got uh, a friend of mine, Aaron, is going to help us explain all this and uh, we'll get you going. So when you mount your system, now this particular application we had to mount the, the peroxide injection pump pretty high on the wall so we're, we're working off of a ladder here but in most cases you would have this closer to the floor where it's a little bit easier to get to but there's actually a screw that, that holds in the, the cover on the screen and you'll need to take that screw loose and remove the cover, cover so we can uh, manipulate the set. <laughs> Once you have the cover off, then we're going to use the mode button and the up and down arrows to take you to 60 seconds. Alright, so your first step is to press and hold mode and percent simultaneously. You'll hold the keys in for about 6 seconds until keypad locked disappears on the screen. We'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, first step you'll do, we'll get this pump set to 60 seconds, 100%. So press and hold mode, and then you can use the up arrow or the down arrow to adjust your seconds. Your options are 1 second, 10 second, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 1, 5, 10, 20, and 60. In this case, we want to go 60 seconds, 100%. So we have got it set to 60 seconds, then you'll press and hold the percentage key. Use the up arrow, cycle through until you get to 100%. 60 seconds, 100%. Okay, once we've set the peroxide injection system to 60 seconds, 100%, we're going to go ahead and turn the water on to the system and make sure we don't have any leaks. Now, before we turn the water on, typically what we're going to do is make sure our carbon filters are in the bypass mode. So, if you want to come over here, you can see there is actually an arrow on here that will tell you bypass or service. When they're in bypass, the handle will bisect the plumbing. When they're in service, the handle will be in line with the plumbing. So, once we've confirmed we have the unit and, and bypass, then we can go ahead and turn the water on. Now for this particular house, it's very large, so we have two carbon filters, but typically you would only have one of these carbon filters. So we're going to show you how to bring one of these online and then we'll do the other one off camera. So once we have the water onto the system and um, we know that we're in bypass, let me go ahead and turn the water on here. We've got the, the main water valve cracked on right now, so we're filling the plumbing. Uh, what we'll do is we're sitting at 
10 pounds pressure right now, so we'll let it charge up a bit. What you'll do is you'll take, no matter the size of the carbon filter, what you'll do is you'll take and just fairly crack the bypass valve open. I mean, I'm talking maybe 5, 10%. Then I'd like you to take and go to your app on your phone, the Water Logics app. Now you can do this by buttons, but we prefer to use the app, it's much easier. So we'll pair to one of the carbon filters, and then we're going to set it into a backwash. Regenerate now, you simply hit OK, and it's going to set the unit into a regeneration. So in this case, we paired to this backwash filter over here. So again, we'll just slowly open this bypass again, 10%. What you want to avoid doing is opening the bypass too quickly and allowing, introducing the water into the tank and shoving that carbon up around the upper basket. So by, by cracking the bypass valve open, you're just slowly going to introduce water into the tank and allow that, that tank to fill and keep the carbon from pushing up to the top of the tank. Right now we're getting to the point where the tank is filling. It's starting to flush, the carbon finds out. This is one of the drain lines here. You can see how this color the water is. What you'll do is you'll continue. We've got about three minutes left in this backwash cycle. Then it'll transition to rapid rinse. On a tank this size, we'll probably have to do two regenerations per tank. Uh, but ultimately, your goal, you'll just continue to force it through uh, manual cycles until you get clear water through the drain. Uh, also, it's worthy of mention, once you get a steady flow of water to the drain, you can go ahead and open your bypass the rest of the way. On the back of the on the back of the control. So now that we've got the carbon filters online, we've got our stirrer pump program at 60 seconds, 100 percent. We're going to test. I'm just running some water now, and then here in a moment, we'll grab a sample of water. And what we're going to look for is bubbles in the water. We've got it outlined in the manual as the bubble method. You're just looking for free oxygen past the injection point. We don't have a cup, but I've taken a water bottle and cut the top off. It's the best we can do right now. Pretty milky looking. Not sure how well you can see, but if you watch it, it dissipates and you'll see it rise from the bottom to the top. It tells us we've got plenty of peroxide going in and we can dial it back. Yes, yeah, so you can see all the bubbles sitting on the side. Now, since this is a pretty large home, Charlie's inside in the mechanical room. So rather than running back and forth, we'll just give him a call. Hey, we've got plenty of bubbles here. You can drop it back down. Maybe go 20 seconds, 70%. Okay, you're on 70%, 20 seconds. So right now, I've, we dialed it back to 20 seconds, 70%, I believe is where we're at. I've got this bib running and one on the other corner of the house. In this case here, you draw a sample, and you can see the bubbles dissipate relatively quickly. We'll try and capture it. You know, so you've got some bubbles. It's not quite that Alka-Seltzer look that we had before where it was really milky and, and rising or dissolving from the bottom up. Most likely we'll make a return trip here in a week or two and, uh, and revisit the, the injection rate, but 
but right now I'm pretty satisfied with how this is turning out. That should be your target. Okay, so we're finished installing and we're finished starting it up now, so we're at the point where um, we're basically ready to move on and, and start up the rest of the equipment here. But this was basically, in a nutshell, how you're going to install and, well, how you're going to start up the infusion system. So uh, again, don't forget to chlorinate your well prior. Um, this will come with the infusion system. We send it with all systems because this is something that's crucial to, to the success of this, to make sure that you've killed everything in your plumbing system prior to starting this up. So um, there's instructions in here that'll tell you how to chlorinate your well based on the size of your well, the depth, and the, and the casing size. So follow these instructions. And again, if you have any questions on any of this, you can give us a call. Um, this is more or less just to help you to, to try to get some understanding of how to get through this. Thanks.